in this video i will show you another example of general clipper circuit for the following general clipper draw the output waveform this is our given circuit in this circuit we are applying the sinusoidal input waveform with positive peak plus 20 negative peak minus 20 volt now see we have to draw the output from this terminal to this terminal we will see we have general diode z1 and z2 connected in series in this branch okay now see the generator z1 and z2 have their general voltage vz1 equal to vz2 equal to 5 volt for the convenience i will assume the built-in potential of the general diodes will be 0 0.8 volt now let me indicate the regions in the input voltage for which the circuit will behave differently now if i consider positive half cycle During positive half cycle, you will see this terminal should be positive and this terminal should be negative. So, positive terminal of the applied voltage will be connected with the N side of general diodes. And the negative terminal will be connected with the P side of general diodes. That means, during positive half cycle, both the Z1 and Z2 should be in reverse bias. But, we will not get any current as long as both the general diodes are not in general breakdown region let's say our input voltage is increasing gradually if vi becomes greater than 5 volt let's say the general diode z1 operates in general breakdown region but other general diode will not get sufficient voltage to operate in the general breakdown region as a result the current flow in the circuit during this positive half cycle will be equal to zero but if i consider input voltage is increasing increasing and when vi will be greater than or equal to let's say this is that demarcation line 10 volt when vi will be greater than or equal to 10 volt both the generators will get sufficient voltage to operate in general breakdown region Z1 and Z2 will operate in general breakdown region so they will act as a voltage regulator but as long as VI will be less than 10 volt we will not get any current flow through this circuit therefore Z1 and Z2 will be in off state so here in this region Z1 and Z2 will operate in general breakdown region will act or will act as voltage regulator when VI will be less than 10 volt we will not get any current flow so in this region Z1 and Z2 will be in off state now consider the negative half cycle of the applied voltage During negative half cycle, this terminal will be negative and this terminal will be positive. The negative terminal will be connected with the N side of general diodes and positive terminal will be connected with the P side of general diodes. As a result, you will see during negative half cycle, input voltage VI will try to put the general diode Z1 and Z2 in forward bias. In that case, what will be the minimum voltage? during negative half cycle which will put z1 and z2 in forward bias see let's say our input voltage is increasing in negative direction gradually if input voltage becomes less than minus 0 0.8 volt let's say this general diode z1 is in forward bias but z2 will not be in forward bias because it will not get sufficient voltage across its two terminals to operate in forward bias region therefore we have to wait for the input voltage to become at least minus 1.6 volt which will drive both z1 and z2 in forward bias so there is, this is the demarcation line that means as long as vi will be greater than minus 1.6 volt z1 and z2 will not be in forward bias or z1 and 
z2 will be in off state so from minus 1.6 to 10 volt our channel diode z1 and z2 will be in off state but for this voltage when vi will be less than or equal to minus 1.6 volt z1 and z2 will be in forward bias both of them will be in forward bias so these are the different regions of the input voltage from 10 to minus 1.6 volt z1 and z2 will be in off state or there will be no current flow in the circuit for vi 10 to 20 volt z1 and z2 both will be in general breakdown region and for input voltage vi less than 1.6 volt or for this region z1 and z2 both of them will be in forward bias so consider this portion of the applied voltage z1 and z2 will be in general breakdown region or they will act as voltage regulator so i can replace them with their corresponding equivalent circuit if i replace both general diodes with corresponding voltage regulator circuit i will get a circuit like this therefore you will see the positive terminal of them will be connected with with the positive terminal of the output voltage and negative terminal will get connected with the negative terminal of output voltage so output will be fixed at 10 volt so from this point to this point output will get fixed at plus 10 volt now consider this portion of the applied voltage minus 1.6 to 10 volt z1 and z2 will be in off state or i can replace z1 and z2 with open circuits so i will get a circuit like this in this region therefore you will see in this circuit current flow i will be equal to zero as a result ir voltage drop across this one kilo ohm resistor will also be equal to zero so our output voltage will be equal to vi or output will have the same waveform as the input voltage so from this point to this point our input is changing like this i will get output of the same waveform from this point to this point our input is changing just like this output will follow the same wave shape up to minus 1.6 volt from this point to this point input is changing like this output will have the same wave shape if vi becomes less than 1.6 volt that means i am talking about this portion of the applied voltage both z1 and z2 will be in forward bias we know that when z1 and z2 are in forward bias we can replace each of them with corresponding built-in potential of 0.8 volt source so if i do that i will get a circuit like this here you will see we will have two voltage sources connected in series but but their negative terminals are connected with, with the positive terminal of output voltage and these positive terminals are connected with the negative terminals of vo so our output will be fixed at minus 1.6 volt so output is fixed at minus 1 point if you draw a neat sketch you will get an waveform like this and this is our given clipper circuit in the simulator the green waveform will indicate the input waveform and this orange waveform will indicate the output waveform look at the input and output waveform okay let me analyze the input and output waveform over a full cycle initially output is following the input voltage and the maximum voltage of output will be 9.98 .9 or approximately 10 volt from this point to this point output is following the input voltage that means from this 10 volt to minus 1.62 volt output will be following the input voltage 
after that output will get fixed at minus 1.62 volt after that from this point to this point our output will follow the input voltage and over a full cycle this will be our output waveform.